Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, another Two Minute Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about and discussing pre-cooling, pre-chilling, or pre-loading your ice chests. Hey everybody, I'm Jimmy Jet, and in a previous episode I talked about seven tips to keep ice in your cooler longer. And today I'm going to be elaborate on one of those tips, the pretty much the first tip that I gave, which is pre-cooling your cooler. And I think it's super important and probably one of the most important steps to keeping ice in your ice chest longer. That's why I wanted to hit on it and expand on it a little bit more. There's a lot of things that can go into this and you have to have a little bit of forethought to do it. But I'm like, hey, I just bought this super expensive cooler. I might as well be using it to its full potential and try to get ice as long as I can. I had ice in here about five days not too long ago and all my friends were out of ice and some of them even have some nice Yetis or other coolers along these lines. And they're like, how are you keeping your ice in the cooler so long? And I said, you got to go watch my video. And they're like, okay, we're going to go do it. So let's drop two minutes down on this clock. Let's talk about how to pre-cool a cooler and why you should be pre-cooling them in the first place. Uh, I'm doing it over here now. So let's go. Boom. All right. So why are you doing it? Really what you're doing is these things have a lot of thermal mass. And they take up a lot of energy to cool them down. So you need to use that energy with something else other than the, con the contents that you're going to be putting in that cooler. You don't want that, those contents to be cooling your cooler down. Um, because they are so heavy, they also take a lot of energy to warm back up, which is a benefit. Um, they, the coolers are made that way specifically. Like the lighter ones, the cheapy ones have a big fluctual range They're like you drop ice in it and it'll cool it down really quick but then things will heat it up really fast as well so that's one of the benefits for these roto mode ro roto molded co coolers is that there it's thick and dense and heavy and they will absorb a lot of that energy on the cooling side and then it takes a lot of time to heat them up what do you need to do to bring that temperature down inside of the coolers well uh, I use frozen water bottles and you can use a, another block of ice or some f um, food or ice blocks or things along those lines and you do it a day ahead of schedule. So you, that's the forethought that you have to have. You just drop those in there, you close up the lid, you seal it, you let it be for like overnight and then the cooler drops down. This cooler has been in my shop for about a week after our last trip and it's uh, roughly about 83 degrees in here. And that means this, this cooler is 83 degrees right now. So when I drop the ice and things in there, I'm trying to lower that temperature as close as I can get to zero. That ice is, there's going to be a thermal battle between the ice and this cooler, and the cooler is going to primarily lose overall. It's going to lower, the, the cooler's temperature is going to lower way down. It'll get down into the 40s probably. Then you pull all that energy out. You pull the wet ice out you pull or those frozen water bottles that don't release any water out then you start packing your cooler how you want you're not wasting energy from the food and things that you packed in there to keep your cool or to get that cooler cool once you get that cooler low you are good to go you want to go out you've got to keep it packed then you go check out my other tips on how to some other ways to keep them cold longer that ice in there longer but to do that you have to pre-cool your coolers and that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any other suggestions, please put them down in the comments on how to pre-cool your coolers. I use those frozen blocks. A lot of people just use a sacrificial bag of ice. So let me know what you guys use. Put it down in the comments below. Hammer down on that subscribe button. And don't forget, keep crawling.